Hi guys and welcome to Lowell's Den, I'm Julian and today I'm going to be playing Payday 2. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, bank heist uh, cash, it's on overkill and I'm going to do it um, without any pre-planning so I'm going to try to stealth it uh, all by myself. Uh, I'm playing on offline mode right now. Uh, I know on the PC we have the pre-planning so it kind of gives us like extra prep work to make the mission more successful. Uh, I'm not sure on the console. I believe one of my friends told me that uh, they now have the pre-planning because when I had the pre-planning you could only get like a uh, ace driver and where the key card might be if it's on the manager or on his desk. Um, or you And you could get uh, camera access. Um, but I'm not sure anymore. I, I have to play it again on the console. But uh, let's start her up. I'm going to skip this and let him do his little rat. Alright, oh, great, I'll let you pass by. And so, in this uh, bank in particular, there's only three guards that float on the floor, and great, there's glass again. Uh, I hate doing these ones with glass. Um, but yeah, there's uh, usually three guards that float the floor and one in the security room. So, the vaults here next to the tellers. Uh, tellers have panic buttons, uh, so if you come in here and just get everybody down here, they're going to automatically hit the panic button. There's another one in the back. I'll show you where that one is. Oh, sweet, security room's in the back. Let's go through the printer room. I kind of wish the vault was here. So here's the other panic button. Uh, usually people that are sitting here will actually set it off. And uh, so this back door is here open, so someone usually comes out here for a smoke. Uh, let's go up here, and there's a camera there. Perfect. Still a pain in the butt that the glass is all up here. And there's no camera here. Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot to see who has the key card. So yeah, the key card's usually on two places. It's either on the manager or on his desk. Uh, if you have the sixth sense ability, you could actually ooh, there was a guard there. You could probably see. Oh, perfect! You're going out this way. I'm following you. Let's see if he has the uh, key card. Let's get it over. Time up. Let's move him. And he does not have the key card. So that means it was on his desk. So, um, I'm not entirely sure if uh, the console has the fugitive uh, perk set. Oops, I'm just popped his uh, telling me he's on Gary Mod. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, like I said, um, if you have the sixth sense ability, you can actually pick up key cards while in casing mode. So I'm just gonna pop that. And hopefully, a guard will come up this way. And I'll just shoot him on the stairs. This is usually like the longest waiting part. Yeah, if you're on the uh, Death Wish build, um, Death Wish, um, the cameras are Titans and you can't break them. So breaking them in uh, any other mode is actually quite helpful. It's a good strategy to use because I use it quite often, just to make spread the the guards a little bit thinner so I can actually get in here a lot quicker. Another way is if you have ECM jammers like this and uh, you place it down and then break a camera, it'll just make the camera blind and they'll never get reported. What is taking him so long? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Yes, I know about the thermal drill. Uh oh. We're invisible. Okay, he took the long way. Those stairs. Watch it, guys. Oh, this makes it a lot easier. You reached Steve. <laughs> I like these pager messages. Leave your number at the beep. Beep. No, I'm kidding. Guys, the thermal drill. Go get it. Yes, I know about the thermal drill. Sorry, I, uh, I forgot about this pager. Over. So, let's move quickly. Nothing really happening. I'm gonna have to use one of my jammers. So, I also have pager jump. And, uh, also, I can answer, like, four pages on because of my mastermind. Yeah, and don't be afraid to kill people, because if you want to stealth it without being gunned down by a whole bunch of cops. Alright. I'm just going to open this door up. I didn't want to use my jammer because I wanted to open up both, but uh, better safe than sorry. Start this up. Let's see. Take some money. Uh, let's open one of these up. Oh, great. My screen's stuck with the uh, I've been detected alert. Oh, sweet, there's a safe here. Let's just crack it. Yeah, I got safe cracker, so... And normally, you, just, you could just put the drill on it if you don't have this ability. I like how the manager has, like, super old computer and everybody else has, like, brand new ones. Yeah, it'll 
will probably restart in a couple seconds. Yeah, usually when I stealth these, I don't have a problem. I don't care if I uh, have a big deduction because I'll just pick all the. You you can take your time now to pick all the damage deposit boxes. Oh, the van's just right there. Uh, while I'm waiting, this is going to take about what a uh, minute and seven. Uh, so what? Uh, sorry, 107 seconds. Or 170 seconds. Whoops. Uh, let's see if I can find some boards. Just to throw in the windows. Ah, sweet. There's some here. Yeah, I don't have silent... Uh... Drill. Which I actually want, but uh, I just don't have enough skill points. Now, you can actually do this um, without anything. All you need is a suppressor gun and um, at least one of these. It won't bounce any of the pages if you're just starting off because you need the to be able to bounce the pages. But if you don't have it, well, it still helps blocking people's cell phone calls. Ugh. I hate those drills, they take forever. There. So yeah, like there's a panic button here that they'll always, if you alert the front, they'll automatically, these people back here will set off the panic button if you get the tellers before so and then if you don't get the tellers well they're just gonna set off the panic buttons even if you try I've tried this is by telling them to get down but every time I do it uh, they still set off the panic button so I just said I just got tired of it so I just like you know what I'm just gonna shoot them so I actually get a higher success rate but um, I do get a nasty deduction. <sighs> Seriously? It's probably almost done too. So, 50 seconds. Or 55, but... doing this because I'm bored waiting for the this is what I usually do if I'm bored waiting for the uh, drill to finish I either go around do this or oops or I look for the little packages that are found in the game uh, I think in the new DLC for people who have like the heist or uh, no I can't remember what it was called now. Oh well. It'll come to me later. Uh, there's like these little packages that are around. You can pick them up and then they just give you a little bit extra XP. I like doing it stealth because I don't have to deal with like cloakers or... Or bulldozers. Or tasers. I really wish this is like it shows lock picking, but it won't let you lock pick it. You need a key, which I think is the most stupid thing to have. It's like you should just say you need a key. Like, well, it does say you need a key, but it should show like a key, not that uh, I can pick it. So I'm just gonna let that finish there. Let's grab these boards. I swear there's a package here. And those packages always change locations, just like the boards. Uh, one time, I think we had the whole thing boarded up. Another time, um, 
I, you can only find like this many boards and that's it. I would like to be able to find like all the boards just to see if it gives me, I don't think it gives me an achievement, but I just want to do it. I'm surprised nobody's noticed him yet. And yeah, if you use, if you have like the, the saw for the damage deposit boxes, it takes like less than a minute to open them all, but it will automatically alert everybody on the map, which I think is dumb. Because it shouldn't, if you're in a building, it shouldn't let someone know like two blocks down the street uh, that you're using a saw. I can understand if you, you got in here and uh, you got in the vault and it was back here and uh, you used it and nobody saw you come in and do it and then you use the um, the saw and it'll alert everybody up here well that I can understand but people out like on the street or two blocks down well like that guy there he'll he automatically hear it even though you're like in a vault oh so here we are This will be so. This is pretty much how you stealth bank. This is how I do it. Uh, everyone has a different way of doing it, but uh, it is possible to do it by yourself. So if you're tired of someone always messing up your your bank heist, and you just need extra cash to get a new gun or that mask that you just got but you can't afford the new slot for it, well, just do a couple of these. Um, it takes me about, uh, with my expert lock picking and luck of the Irish, it takes me about, uh, a half hour to do all these, to do this whole job. Uh, without the expert, I think it takes me about an hour. So. Yeah. But fun. I'll just put my money there. I'm just going to see if I can get lucky. I don't want to drag this video too long. I'm just going to open one of these up. One or two of them. Yeah, it doesn't take me long to lockpick at all. Ooh, ring. I'm just going to try to get the money back I lost. And also being on overkill, it uh, makes it a little bit, uh, everything becomes, has more value. Instead of that being $900, it's 14 I think on like regular, it's like $900, not a whole lot. Yeah, so. And it also helps to have um, oh, presidents, I think it was called presidents. Uh, aced, it will give you like an extra boost, so that pretty much covered everybody I killed. Let's just throw it over there. I also have um, my enforcer like being able to throw bags pretty far. I'll show you guys that in a sec there. Um, like how I always have my character set up. As soon as I, I start prestiging my character, I'm going to try to see if I can unlock uh, more uh, trees. I know you can't unlock the entire skill tree unless you hack it, but um, nah, I don't like hacking personally. I don't think there's anything, well, it's up to debate. If you hack just to make the game more fun for everybody, not just the make it unfair. That's f like if you're gonna do it unfair, I don't think that's fun to hack. Uh, if you're gonna hack a game just to you know make the game a little bit more fun and just you're just goofing off and you're not really doing it to gain anything, well, I don't see anything wrong there. You're just doing it to have some fun.
I played with a couple of people who uh, hacked uh, hacked the game, and they just made it more fun. But anyways, so yeah, I get a 10% extra experience bonus. Um, that's usually what I do these missions for uh, all by myself. It's just for the extra XP because I want to level my character up fast so I can uh, keep going and so I can start it all over and have fun just keep doing it. Um, so, oh, cool. I leveled up to 89. Nice. And so, yeah. That's basically how you... Uh, that's how. Yeah. So. <laughs> sorry. I'll stop now. Uh, no. Uh, here, I'll show you my uh, stats. So, as you can see, like, I got eight points in Mastermind, uh, five in Enforcer. Well, wouldn't be just points, well, five skills. So, here's my ghost. This is what I have aced. So, I have my, my um, my lock picking, my ECM specialist. I actually did my lock picking before my ECM specialist. I did my ECM specialist last. Um, uh, sh Shinobi. Uh, this one I like because it kills people in the game and it makes less noise. Uh, I was actually playing with someone. He had a sni he had a silencer on his gun and he kept shooting people and he didn't have this. And for some reason, the guards kept hearing it, even though he had a silencer on it. So this actually makes it a little bit easier. And uh, this is what I was talking about, uh, Dead Presidents. Um, Ace this one, you can get 20% uh, more loot. Um, I also got the uh, body bag. And for those who have, if you have the fugitive, these are basically all you really need. Uh, well, any one of these at the bottom is fine. But um, these two, for sure. If you have six cents and ace it, well, you can pick up stuff during uh, casing mode. Like, so I can pick up key cards, or like keys, or anything that's important that I'm going to need to open doors or something. And then you get um, this one here. This is one I like be acing this one because you can kill people and not uh, worry about uh, having too much of a cleaner cost reduction. Uh, oh yeah, my technician. So this is as far as I went in it. I actually want to get the silent drill just so nobody hears it. Um, this one here, um, this is really as far as I, I wanted to go in Enforcer. Uh, just be able to fight special units and uh, be able to carry things a lot faster and further. Uh, oh, I already was in there. So yeah, and this is my mastermind. So these are the three that I aced. Um, cables, you can tie hostages for, like, faster, increase supply cables, ties. Um, uh, I like Mastermind because I can, uh, answer, like, more pages. Um, I think it's Control Freak that does that. I don't know why it doesn't, um, so, yeah, I'm not going crazy. It's not showing, uh, being able to, uh, say how many which one does the more pagers uh, anyways so that's basically my uh, my stats um, if you guys have any comics uh, comments comics comments <laughs> please place it down below um, like always please like my channel check out my Facebook and uh, subscribe if you already haven't and like always thank you for watching